What's up, you guys? Ah, how are we? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, my name's Jacob. Um, as you guys know, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube series called Rugby Player Reacts, and welcome to my van. Um, this is my... I didn't even know what year it is actually, I think it's about a 2001 Toyota Estima. And this is my, uh, well this is my wheels, this is my van, this is my accommodation. Actually it has been for the last four days and it's going to continue to be. But there's one thing I need to do, I'm actually sitting right next to the river, it's a picturesque um, spot, been here for the last three days, uh, it's been good. It's been really good, you know, I had to get out of Christchurch, um, you will be seeing some van life videos which would be pretty fun. But as far as the content that I actually want to continue to create whilst I'm on the road, whilst I'm in my van, you know, and I can, I've got my laptop, it's got charge, I'm connected to the internet, I can actually do this, I've got, <laughs> I've got camera battery, you know what I mean? So we can actually do this on the road, which is a concept I never really thought was possible. So guys, look, today's mission is really uh, about basically just breaking the ice as far as this series goes on the road you know what I mean I have to try it out I think I'm pretty good so far um, and we actually have to get through a couple of these players just to see exactly what I feel like in this setting you know what I mean whether it's conducive to my uh, my reactions you know not being distracted by anything in the middle of nowhere. Well, actually, I've got my mate Tim here. He's in his van over there. He's, um, he's cooking his breakfast, to be honest. Probably avocado on toast, if I know him correctly. But um, my breakfast, as you guys know, it's the age-old breakfast of champions, really, in my opinion. you, you got to eat, but as far as breakfast goes, as far as the first part of the day, as far as when you're, you know, as sharp as, as can be, all I need is a caffeinated beverage. That's exactly what we got. So today, guys, we're beginning... The series once again on the road with number 76 Marshawn Lattimore I had a I had a thought of going straight to 50 or straight to 20 but I do want to finish this whole thing and I reckon we're gonna do it so let's let's crack into it man let's do it another guy in my draft class uh, Marshawn Lattimore he's a good friend of mine we talk all the time but I feel like since our rookie year he's been doing that at a high level one this guy's fucking whippersnipping right behind me. It was there yesterday. Surely he's finished. All right, let's continue. Defensive rookie of the year, Pro Bowl his first year. And last year. That's actually really pissing me off. Um, can I, can I up the volume at all? Probably not. I think we're, I think we're maxed out. All right, let's continue. Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback for the Saints. Look, I want to get some stats, and I've I've never actually heard Marshawn be. Um, I've never actually heard of Marshawn or Marshawn be spelt like that. I've heard of Marshawn, obviously, Marshawn Lynch <laughs> rings a bell, but as far as Marshawn, I've never heard. Marshawn Demon Lattimore, born May 20th, 1996, is a cornerback for the Saints. He was drafted 11th overall in the 2017 draft. He's been at the Saints ever since. He's six foot even, and he's probably around about 90 kgs. It says 87 here, but he's, you know, I, I, I tend to think that, um, at that height, you know, he should be around 90. He went to Glenville High School, Ohio State College, which is um, one of my favorites. Um, Two-time pro bowler, one in his first year, in his rookie year, where he also won the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year. And his second pro bowl appearance was last year, which is probably the reason why he's on this list. So, Lattimore, at pre-draft, Ran a 4.36 40-yard dash. Right. 38 and a half inches on the vertical and 11 foot even on the broad jump. So he he's explosive. He's a cornerback. He's a he's a you know, he's definitely a cornerback with those those stats. To be better than that, what can you actually do to be better than that? What get a 40-inch vertical jump? Get a 4-2 something 40-yard dash? I mean those stats are elite. And um, well we're about to see how they transition onto the field. So let's go. One of the best in the league. You've played against uh, Marshawn Lattimore. Yeah. Oh, I like the glasses. Uh, how does he rate as one of the uh, cover corners in the league? Uh, he's up there. He's, he's Could have cleaned them, though. Uh, I got to say top five. The one thing about Lattimore is sometimes the better the matchup, the 
about Lattimore is sometimes the better the matchup, the more excited. The better the matchup, the better he plays. Yep, I can see that. The best receivers. In 2019, the Saints' Marshawn Lattimore held the Cowboys' Amari Cooper. I want to see exactly how he. Look at this. He's think. He's obviously seen this route so many times before, right? But the fact is, is that that was a pretty nice release. And also, you know, a nice turn, but Lattimore had seen it. He'd seen that pass coming. He's looking to his left right now. Well, he's going to have to turn back inside. And in which case, he's going to already have him covered. So let's see what happens. In 2019, yes. the Saints' Marshawn Lattimore held the Cowboys' Amari Cooper to just 48 yards. He faced the Bucks and Mike Evans twice. In the first game, Evans did not record a single catch. He looks a little bit... Uh, he had a really good game against you. Um, oh, 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 oh. Well, I knew that was going to happen. He had a really good game against me. The, their defense had a good game against me. Marshawn locked down more. No doubt. He locked down with a few top receivers. Mike Evans, who whoever else we face. Uh, we talked to Mike Evans yesterday when we brought up Marshawn. He was frustrated. A little frustrated. Mm, okay. yes. Look at this guy's neck. I, I, I wouldn't even call that a neck. That is that is a pipe. I don't know what it is. I, I do not know. How can you have a neck that's wider than your jaw when your jawline is already wide as fuck? I just don't get it. He's a good player, but okay, yeah. I don't get it. That's genetics. He's going to be strong. In fact, the first thing that comes to mind when I see a neck like that is put him in the front row of a scrum and see how he goes in the game of rugby. Like, honestly. Honestly. Like, down any receiver is... is it's, it's tough for the other the offenses to go against it. What we got to remember is that Lattimore is six foot. So as a corner, you know, there probably aren't too many corners that are actually more than that. And if they are, then they're going to be on the tall side. It's all about the explosive. It's all about getting... It's all about that, you know, as far as pre-draft measurables, it's definitely about the speed and the broad jump and, and the vertical. Definitely being a corner because... You are playing what's in front of you, right? So you have to have better, you know, better agility or better, at the very least, um, smarts on the field to break something up or to make the tackle or to, you know, you've got to use your initiative and with that initiative, you've got to have the explosiveness to make the play. And, um, well, that's just some thoughts that were going through my head. Anyway, let's continue. Stays in this, looking for this ball the entire way. Oh, fucking hell, that's just a terrible throw. Travels, he plays man, he plays zone. Right to him. Why are they saying it's hard for a corner to tackle? Is it because they're on the slighter side? Um, you, know, you don't have to worry about the outside edges. I want to watch this. Yeah, okay, that was a tackle. I was going to say, most corners, most tackles, so-called tackles from corners that I see, are literally diving for the fucking attacker's legs with no regard for their body. You know what I mean? So if this guy can actually wrap them up, do proper arm tackles, then yes, I respect that. You summed it up really well, mate. You really did. He does all three. He's a triple threat. Right, guys. How are we looking? We looking good? Should I continue doing this? Guys, this channel, this whole series is sponsored by Major Key Physiques. I will be using um, and promoting Major Key Physiques throughout this whole entire countdown. But guys, that was number 76 on the list. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, there is no time to lose. I am going to have another sip of my coffee when I see you back here for number 75. We're in the top three quarters. His name's Earl Thomas. I've seen him before. I'll see him again. He's a safety for the Ravens. I do remember him. I do. I do. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.